been a really good week of flying. I thought this would work out well. This is actually a lot harder to do than it looks. I'm going to know that. That doesn't work. I thought that would be a good idea, but you go too fast. What I was trying to say is it's been a really good week of flying, actually. I've managed to get a night flight in today, seen a jumbo jet, done a couple of flights with friends. And today, if you look at the sky behind me now, we're going to take advantage of a rare sunny day here in Melbourne and just do a quick 15 minute flight to go and get a coffee. Hi Stephen. Stephen's in Kilo Duty at November today with Evan as well. They're flying off. They're, they're just faster at doing all the checks and everything than me. I'm a bit more of a captain slow when it comes to doing everything here in the aircraft. So they're heading off in front. I'm going to be following them down. And we're just doing a really quick flight today. It's about 15, should be about 15, 16 minutes to our destination today. Just waiting for this little Cessna 152 between me and Stephen before we take off. How many of you pilots out there started learning on a 150 or a 152? I'm sure a large percentage of us did. Okay, thank you, Zulu. Traffic is preceding Cessna. They're departing for Albert Park Lake. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff. Copy the traffic. Echo, thank you, Zulu. 70 knots. Up we go. Already starting to get a little bit bumpy because it's so hot today. It was 22 degrees now here, but it was about 27 on the ground. It's busy already. It's like a, a sunny day in Melbourne at the weekend. There's a lot of people out. That's why you can hear the radios are so busy at the moment. People are doing approach practices at Avalon, maybe about 15 miles in that direction. There's people in the city, so they've got to get clearance from the Class C airspace. There's obviously all the inbound traffic that's going into Tullamarine as well. There's the training traffic in Rabin itself. So there's three or four, and the Essendon Airport as well, where you've got some charter and also some general aviation going in and out of there too. So there's four airports in this Bay Area of Melbourne. On a sunny Saturday morning, everybody seems to come out. Yeah, you've got to keep a really good scan. Yeah, safety alert point, Ormond. You're going to be passing in about 20 seconds. You're 200 feet apart on radar. So that's unverified. You're going to be very close to each other. Opposite direction. I'm actually quite glad to be leaving that behind me. All right, Laverton Bomb Tower. One of our VFR waypoints. Turning now and avoiding the airspace of Melbourne. So I'm actually tracking my way actually around Class Charlie airspace. I'm staying underneath it at the moment. And that's so I could just stay a little bit higher. I could go further to my right of the aircraft, but that would mean I'd need to be at 1,500, not the 2,000 I'm at at the moment. This just gives me a little bit more altitude, especially when I'm flying over a built-up area. It is pretty bumpy today, actually. Didn't realize it'd be like this. Melton traffic, Cirrus Echo, Yankee Zulu, 10 miles to the southeast, 1,500 inbound. Estimate circuit time, 47 Melton. And slow us down a little bit more, get us to our kind of approach speed. Altitude is good, speed is good. Melt traffic, Echo Zulu turning base, runway 04, Melt. That's sort of saying it with the British, my British accent comes out when I fly. Melton, Melton traffic, in it. And then I'm going to try and keep the nose wheel off the ground as long as possible because this is a softer runway. Speed is good, a little bit high, so I'll reduce the power. Nice, on the store horn. Caution, under feet. 29 degrees Celsius. Oh. There's Echo Yankee Zulu. Stephen and Evan came in KJN. Long time viewers of the channel recognize this one. Now known as Tango Papa Sierra, which still sounds rubbish. That's the old Tango Delta Sierra that I took to Long Reach about. How many years ago was that? Four years ago?
didn't fly very much over the Christmas period, but now that we're back in January, I'm back and flying again, which I'm really excited about. Earlier in the week also, I got to combine two of my absolute favorite things, that is planes and pizza. Now I've parked Echo Yankee Zulu to some pretty cool planes in the past, but I think this one, I think this is my favorite. Fun fact about this Boeing 747, this is Victor Hotel Oscar Juliet Alpha. This holds the world record for the longest non-stop flight by an airliner when they flew it all the way from London to Sydney. It's the only 747 that's ever done it all in one go, non-stop. <laughs> this is Wollongong Airport just on the east coast of Australia. We've just flown up here from Moravian. It's about a two hour flight. Parked my aircraft right next to the 747. Uh, we just decided to come up. It's a beautiful night for flying. I wanted to get some night practice as well, so we're actually going to fly back and hopefully the sun will go down as we're flying back home. It's just a fun opportunity to come out with a couple of friends, order some pizza to the airport, vegan margarita of course, and enjoy being around all the planes. Tango Pass starting up. The only thing I did forget though was flying at night time well, it's generally dark and the GoPros, well, any camera to be honest, when there's not much light, it's really hard to film. So even though I wanted to bring you the whole experience of what it's like flying at night time, eventually I just decided I didn't think it was going to work. 4,300, we want to 4,300. Shell hub traffic, Cirrus Echo Yankee Zulu is rolling runway 16. We'll be climbing left circuit, overhead the aerodrome. Thank you, Yankee Zulu, set a good day, school 3240, remain set up class Charlie, stand by. 3240 and remain outside class Charlie, at Yankee Zulu. I definitely want to get back to Wollongong. They've got a great collection of aircraft there as well as the 747. There's Connie, the Super Constellation, and many, many other aircraft. It's well worth, if you love your aviation, getting down to Shell Harbour Airport. It used to be known as Wollongong, but now it's Shell Harbour Airport, and take a good look around. Anyway, I've got my banana bread, I've had my coffee. We're going to jump back in the plane to fly back to Melbourne. I've said it before on this channel, but Australia doesn't have many good on-airport eating, like food and drink options. So when we do get one, like that brilliant place in Melton, I really want to try and support it. So if you are in Melbourne or in this local area, or if you just want to come down to Victoria for the day, check out Melton Aerodrome. It's a really good long runway. Most aircraft should be able to get in there. Um, the people down there were really lovely. And the coffee, I don't want to say this too loud, I think that oat milk latte was better than the one I get in my local cafe in Melbourne. I know in the US and I know in the UK, you guys do on airport food and drinks very well, a lot better than we do. And so it's really nice when we get one that um, actually does decent food. We're already talking about doing another trip back there. Roman Tower, Cirrus, Echo, Yankee, Zulu, Brighton, 1,500, inbound wind tango. Yankee Zulu, Roman Tower, join downwind, runway 35 left. Yankee Zulu, just confirm you're aware of the uh, tailwind at the moment, six knots. Yep, copy that, Echo Yankee Zulu. 
Middle Atlantic, Hi, one mile.